This is a short video on um, using the Galileo Smart Point Assisted Ticketing Tool. Uh, using this, uh, you can reissue uh, tickets without uh, having a thorough knowledge on the entries, the cryptic entries which you have you have used in the past to uh, reissue tickets. The voluntary changes option on this tool has been added recently. So uh, I'll run you through uh, how to use this tool in uh, reissuing tickets. Uh, firstly, uh, you need to uh, rebook the new dates. Cancelled all old uh, segments and rebook the new dates and file the fare to start using this tool. So, right. So uh, now you need to re. Uh, I'll go into this tool. Once you go into the tool and uh, select voluntary changes. It will say individual fi file fares per passenger are required. So uh, if there are multiple passengers, you will need to file their fares individually before you use the tool. Then you go into the tool. Click on one of the changes. Then uh, right on top, you'll see the file fares. If there are multiple file, file fares, it will show on the drop down. And <clears throat> once you select the required file fare, below that, it will show the passenger, the file fare details. Then uh, the next section, it will show if there are multiple tickets issued on the PNR, it will uh, list down multiple tickets. Or else it also has the option here, this next box, where you can enter the ticket number manually in case if the original ticket was not issued on this PNR, you can use this box to uh, key in the ticket number. And then you can click on, uh, if once you enter the ticket number or once you select the file fare, you click on load ticket data. Once you click on this, from the ticket issued, it will capture all the, it will load all the fare details. So here in this uh, grid, uh, you will see, first you will see the, fare details captured from the ticket and then this is the fare details on the uh, file fare and if there's any fare difference the next column will show a fare, differ fare difference or the tax differences so in this case there are no differences so then uh, uh, here you can you have the option of adding the airline change fees the reissue charges so here I'll put uh, 500 I think it's XP. So XP tax I have added here. Then uh, if there are any additional endorsements, you can enter it or you can if you not need to enter the endorsement on the first line so that it's visible on the ticket, you can um, remove this endorsement, type your own endorsement and then uh, maybe replace it in the endorsement three box. Then the next section you uh, the document production modifier uh, also uh, if you click on this expand all you'll have the other other modifiers as well so the extra modifiers such as uh, the tour code uh, uh, then um, what else? mainly the tour code the other in de details are not much used by us so if there's a tour code you can enter it here and uh, then uh, under document production modifier you can leave it as none then you click on uh, i have validated the fair rules and results so uh, before you do the reissue you have to validate all the fair rules and conditions and then only you have to come to this step otherwise uh, if there are any <clears throat> other restrictions on the ticket you'll be liable then you click on update modifier. You will get this uh, message saying manual, manual fare has been updated. You click on OK. Then it will again start processing if you can see the cursor changing.
and in the background what it does is it will update all the all the additional taxes remove the old taxes and build the file fair for you so once the file fair the building is build is complete you'll get this screen where it will uh, automatically pick the ticket number, original the exchange ticket number, the coupons which are due to be exchanged, then the tot uh, original ticket fare. Then here you need to enter the original form of payment. And then uh, if it's the first issue, you don't need to enter the original ticket number here. But if it's a secondary issue and onwards, you need to enter the original issue otherwise it won't pick the correct uh, ratio ticket number then you click on continue then uh, from the system it automatically the system will uh, pick the paid taxes in case if the paid taxes are not picked it will give you the option to enter the paid taxes here manually in most cases in subsequent reissues uh, you might not get the taxes here so in that case you might need to fill this manually then once it's done you click on continue then uh, in as the next you know there was a change fee added on this so uh, it will ask for a form of payment for the change fee so, so uh, here view the form of payment and click on continue so at this point it will uh, update all the modifiers and you are required you can uh, click on update exchange and close so once you up, click on update exchange and close it will uh, open the file fair so if you see look at this it has updated all the taxes and added the change fee tax which I uh, entered manually. It has updated the the file the, the exchange uh, mask. All that is done. So what you need to do is just give your ticketing command and it will print the ticket. 